guys thank you for tuning to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make some lip gloss and with all those kind of one that you can have the color you uh, would want to realize red uh, pink any color of yours uh, that you prefer so i'm going to make one of my preferred color with this lip gloss and in this uh diy from mini homemade lip gloss but in one of the uh, numerous uh, brand in the world but I don't want to name it but I just figure out how they combine this whole thing together then I learned it as well from my cosmetology so if you want to watch what kind of lip gloss it is keep on watching so guys first we are going to start uh, I've already mentioned everything here and I'll be linking the quantity which I will be using uh, from all this uh, oxide in here I'll be linking the quantity down uh, along this video so we are going to be needing some of this as I said I've already linked it this is my white um, oxide this is um, a white uh, oxide which is like a um, kaolin and why this is my tack this is my white tack you can use dry flu okay so first we are going to go with our white uh color just give it a stir like so so now i'm going to come with my yellow uh this all these are food color so i'm going to just go a little with these guys this is just eye gauge but I'm going to write like the quantity I'll be adding here right now I'm going to write it down below so as you add stir like so I'm also going to go with my charcoal this is pure charcoal uh, just go very very little because you can correct it when it's light but you can't correct it when it's already dark okay you can't do that you can't correct it when it's already dark because when it's already dark you have to throw it off and start all over again so that is the reason why I'm going to advise you just go gradually when you are doing a thing like this okay so after this right now I'm going to pour all this this is my uh, very good color this is uh, a pink color this is pink uh, uh, oxide so I'm just going to pour everything this is just um, 3 gram just go like so and here we come with uh, the red this is just red then I'm going to go and pour the red as well So right now, the next thing for me to do is to uh, blend all this together. Okay, so we got uh, everything well blend and smooth the way it's supposed to uh, look like. Okay, so just need to comb this um, light pink. So right now I'm just going to um, take this and pour it into a jar. So from there we are going to go for the next process. So right now guys I am back. So right now this is our castor oil here. We have 10 grams of castor oil. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pour my castor oil in here for we need everything of our castor oil. And this is rice oil so rice oil you need just three gram of rice oil so after that now we are going to start so we have all eight gram of oil I just want to do a little batch of this so you just go with how you want your lip gloss to come in that dark these all things I've mixed it here but I'm not going to use everything just to mix the color that i want it to come from here i can also make a fad uh oil fad or any other lip gloss in future 
so right now i'm going to go gradually to gauge how i want my lip gloss lip gloss color to come maybe dark or just light so after adding uh by starting gradually i'm going to stir guys check out this color look how lovely it is guys check this out this is one of my preferent uh, color so guys to guess this i have to uh, do so many i mean so many uh try fail and uh, you know until i got the right color and also the consistency matters so much so right now here it is as the color we need to come because this color is one of my preferent color so this can be used also and it is as a fad on your face check it guys check the pink color very intense very intense uh, light pink so right now if you want it to come that more dark you add more uh color and less white uh, powder and other things so and it also stays that's the most important thing it stays as well it stays long so that's it so right now the next thing i'm going to do we are going to add our uh b wax you just go uh, with little quantity not that much like so just go with little quantity just to uh giving a little uh thickness not more than that so right now i'm going to set this aside so i'm going to heat this up uh in your double heat boiler or in your microwave you do it whatever way you want to heat it up just to melt this oat and then come back and up uh, um just pour it into our lip gloss bottle so right now guys i've heated it up and uh, yeah we have it's a little bit hot so just try give it a stir as you can like so thoroughly to uh bind everything way together i just love the color the color is what is triggering me right now so i'm just going to pour in here into this my lip gloss also and that's it so remember you don't need to fill it up because we need to also cover so i'm going to take out some from here so guys check the color the color is so uh beautiful very beautiful so i'm going to also cover with the top like so and here we have our beautiful uh, lip gloss this is the color this is a lip gloss from a, a famous um brand that i got this idea from so guys just need to just keep it when it cools down it's going to come out with a great color so right now this can be added more to make a fad you know those wet fad so i can add more color of that in here and make a uh, a fad okay so that's it so i'm going to do that right away of the camera so guys here yeah, i just uh finished mixing up the the uh oil fad okay here right now in case um so I'm, later i'm going to remove it from here into a very small uh jar but now i don't have the jar so this is our lip gloss i hope you love it look at the beauty guys check out the beauty and it stays that's it it stays it stays 
so guys i hope you love this video if you do please don't hesitate to share like subscribe if you are new here thank you guys for watching stay tuned for next video bye bye